Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Reading today, Psalm 119, beginning in verse 55. I have remembered thy name, O Lord, in the night, and have kept thy law. This I had, because I kept thy precepts. And so, David was a major league believer, as it were. He remembered, he remembered God when others slept. While others were resting and sleeping, he was thinking about God. He was a major league believer because he lived the Bible. We cannot earn salvation. We cannot work for salvation. But there is a reward for our work after we are saved by trusting Christ. There is a reward for our work. Peace, joy, and comfort come from carefully living for God. There is no comfort if we are spiritually careless. But if we go two miles with God, when most others are satisfied going one, we will have the abundant life that God promises. Never be satisfied with ordinary for God. 57. Thou art my portion, O Lord. I have said that I would keep thy words. God is his portion. God is his and he could not be happier. Let other people covet what belongs to someone else. Let other people covet their new cars, their new houses, their fancy clothes, all of their money. But let us enjoy God the best that we possibly can. When God is our portion, then our attitude towards the things of this world will be, well, if I have them, fine. If I don't, that's fine too. 58. I entreated thy favor with my whole heart. Be merciful unto me according to thy word. When you know God as your God, you're going to seek God. He says, God, I want your favor. In other words, I don't want anything to come between us. And I will tell you this, sincerely wanting that, sincerely wanting absolutely nothing to come between us and God, that's more than half the battle to holiness. God will never turn his back on someone who has a willing heart. The Bible says, he who comes to me, I will in no wise cast out. You come to God with a willing heart. He'll never turn his back on you. Verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. It's a good idea to think on our ways. In other words, it's a good idea to examine how we are living. Take a good, honest look at yourself, not at others, but at, but at yourself. We should make a habit out of judging ourselves in order to avoid the judgment of God. So he says, I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. Where a change was needed, I made that change. I thought on thy testament. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. If in our self-examination we see a spiritual or moral flaw, then we need to strike while the iron is hot and change our ways immediately before we get busy with other things and forget. Study the whole Bible with me verse by verse at thebibleversebyverse.com. For complete series, choose, click, and listen. That's all you have to do. To be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's Word and click the Donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.